Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org, coming to you this Friday morning, October 18th. We're looking at Window Traders Market Profile of the ES and the NQ. So we have an options expiration today. Again, a lot of people like to say the market trades a certain way because it's options expiration week. I don't buy any of that. Um, the only time it should really affect the market at all is maybe in the last, depending on when they expire. Some expire in the morning. Some expires uh, on the close. That's the only time that I would uh, say it could have a fact on what the market's doing. Other than that, you trade the market depending on what the market generated information is telling us. Right now, that MGI is telling us we are stuck in a daily balance. Okay? Plain and simple. Four days in ES, seven in NQ. Overnight high is our all time high again. In the S&P and the SPY, we traded overnight below yesterday's low in both ES and in NQ. But here we are now in the pre-market with 70 minutes to go towards the upper end of our overnight range. Okay? Um, between yesterday's low and the afternoon rally high, guess what? A lot of chops going to happen here. Okay? Same with NQ. Um, we did probe yesterday, but they were minimal, so we didn't use those uh, K's low in NQ or D's low in ES. So again, you're going to have some massive chop, I think, inside of yesterday's range until either the bulls get above the afternoon rally highs to get value overlapping a higher or higher, or the bears are able to take out yesterday's lows and maybe start heading Towards the bottoms of the bottom of the balances, right? Other than that, it's just balance, and you need more MGI to form. So again, early plays depend on where the overnight high is. If you want to front run it, if we open away from it and either go for the overnight high or overnight low, you can take the opposite uh, approach and take the longer short to go get them. Yesterday's volume again in the top ten lightest of the year which means it's basically the top 10 lightest for the past three years. So another all-time high yesterday, and there's nobody buying it. However, that also means there's nobody selling it, right? So the long-term money is very comfortable just sitting on the sidelines right now. Remember, it's always the herd mentality. All they want to do is match the benchmark. They don't want to be an innovator and try to beat it. I can tell you that. That's a fact. Righty had an inside day yesterday, so they're up to balance on the daily. If they take out yesterday's high, back to firmly up. So we'll see how that works out. They had a wide overnight pocket. And now look at them. They actually have a trend day in the pre-market here. So we'll see how that uh, works out. I will be recapping all of these charts tonight from top to bottom. For now, here is the ES four-day Balance, that's, that's our main focus. Balance rules, again, are the most powerful rules, I believe, in trading. Good luck trading today. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing to this channel. And we'll recap the day and the week at 4 p.m.